Okay, so somebody asked about how this feeder works. So when you run out of food in your plastic bottle, you just I just turn this cleat over, this little notch over here, and slide the, the cross out from the feeder hole, turn it down, and then you can pull it off, fill it up, and put it back on without spilling any food. So it just makes it a little easier to to load the thing. And then you just put your full container back on, turn it back up, and push it in, push it back into the uh, recess that fits the, fits the cross. Now, um, if you can see down in here, this, the little red spot is a hole drilled in the PVC pipe that goes into whatever depth you want for the amount of food you want to feed and it could be it could be a smaller hole in diameter or it could be bigger but the uh, the way it works is the little motor down at the end turns the whole shaft that runs the length of the building and feeds both of the 500 gallon tanks and uh, I can divide the 500 gallon tank into 250s and then I'll have a feeder for over here and a feeder for the other side and uh, you can the little synchronous motor at the end is a 3 RPM motor. So you just set it for whatever amount of time it takes to put the amount of food you want in. And um, let's see, that's not going to work. So when you put something inside that pipe just to keep the food from falling into it, um, it could be whatever, a piece of dowel, or in my case, I used a little piece of scrap PEX pipe. Um, but that worked for me for what I was doing. And then the way it works is, as the pipe spins around, when it gets, when the hole gets lined up with the food thing, a little bit of food falls into the recess on the pipe, and then as it comes, as the pipe continues to turn around, it drops out through the bottom of the cross and into the fish tank. So that's how that works. And uh, what else? Uh, I guess that's about it. Pretty simple. Um, you know, time it for whatever you want. If you wanted to have, mine is set up on four fish tanks, and you can have different size holes for different amount of food for the for the different fish. But um, if you want to have, you know, one one feeder having, uh, say, two times a day. This one's set up for three times a day right at the moment, but I can set it up to feed as many or as few times as I want but you'd have to have a separate synchronous motor for, for each uh, different timing scheme you wanted because it'd be driving a different shaft. But um, this works pretty well. And then the, between the, this little board on the end of the support just keeps, it sits right tight against the cross so that it can't, if you, you know, it can't tip over when you're not feeding it or tending it. So that's how that works. And then, uh, just in case you didn't see the other video, we'll go down to the other end where the drive mechanism is. And this drive mechanism is just a tiny little synchronous motor, 3 RPM. And uh, when I built the little adapter that goes in the end of the pipe to make the shaft turn the pipe, I didn't quite get it exactly square, so I just took a little piece of rubber hose and stuck it inside. Cut my cut my PVC pipe and stuck a piece of rubber hose in there, and uh, just pinned it with a couple of screws. So that gives me a nice little flex joint, so it doesn't uh, hurt the motor when it spins around and around. And that little motor is just controlled by a timer. Pretty simple. There's a stop stop on the side of each brace so that the pipe can't slide back and forth and get out of alignment with the, the holes that go into the crosses. So there you go, there's your update.